only we were familiar with making hard turns. If only. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the BetaHouse.Life podcast. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Elizabeth. And today we are going to take some time and talk about the joy of taking hard turns. Hard turns. Hard turns. Oh. Yes. I think they're called hard for a reason. Mm-hmm. It's not so much that it's a big turn, but yeah. a hard turn in life is actually hard to do. It's not that beautiful sweeping turn that you can take your time and no. check out. The, no, it's it's a hard, it's 90 degrees. You were going this way, now you're going that way. And I think it's a nice natural next chapter after talking about, you know, focus and flexibility mm-hmm. because typically with flexibility, those are soft changes. Right. You know, it's like a lane change in life, you right. know, versus like making a hard right or a hard left. Still heading in the general same direction, just yeah. not the way you intend. Next steps, mm-hmm. you know, going with that, do I stay in the same lane? Do I change lanes? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, these are simpler choices right. that typically have less consequences. Um, but hard turns happen too. Mm-hmm. And sometimes even when they're not chosen necessarily because sometimes they aren't right knowing how to handle them can make all the difference as to whether you succeed or it's a setback and a couple of examples of yeah. hard turns mm-hmm. you know it could be a giant move right you know and i'm not Get talking it. you know just neighborhood to neighborhood right i'm talking like cost country mm-hmm. large moves where you're right. actually having Thousands to say of miles or goodbye happening. to your yeah. friend group or yeah. family those types of things where you're making a hard change right uh, it could be a job change, mm-hmm. not necessarily company to company, but like industry Just change. industry changes, yeah. So you're going from, let's say, I've been in construction, and now I'm going into business consulting. Right. You know, it's a different... And we'll get to that one. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, I could go... I'm not going to give too many spoilers for <laughs> yeah. upcoming ones, because what's funny behind the curtain, guys... Don't tell them the secrets. We're actually filming this one last in the series. We've filmed all the other hard turn videos. We now really, we know what we've covered and what we haven't. We really thought we had this one recorded already, so we're having to record it again. But that's the joy of sometimes. It turns out we just had the conversation Yeah. and didn't actually record it. So we've, pra- we've had a practice <laughs> conversation, so this one better be double good. That's right. Uh, but So going to our hard turns. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to go super far back no. with these. We'll keep them pretty recent because we've had enough recently to talk about that. And the right. first one involved a cross-country change. Mm-hmm. And that was, you know, going from Louisville, Kentucky to San Diego. Which we've talked about on here before. Yeah, yeah a little bit. I'm going to talk about a little bit more that that was not an easy choice to make. Right. Um, leaving family, leaving everybody. Mm-hmm. I was really thankful that we were in the place we were though. Right. Because it wasn't a lightly made choice. No. We were fortunate enough that it wasn't a huge financial gamble, meaning we had some money set aside so that if we had to, we could live. Mm-hmm. If we needed, you know, that kind of thing. It wasn't like we just said, hey, let's go, pack yeah. up the kids, you know, family of five, we're just gonna move cross country and hope everything works out. Spontaneously tear everything up by the roots. Yeah. No. Yeah, and you had a job Mm -hmm. with that. So, and while it wasn't starting immediately, it was coming soon. Right. Well, I had my transitionary job that was intentionally transitionary too. So, uh, thanks to Best Buy. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And for providing jobs in multiple cities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, and it was a good time. Now, I will not call it Circuit City because I do tend to call it Circuit City. Because I have also worked at Circuit City. Yeah, and I got used to. 20 years ago saying mm-hmm. Ben oh yeah Ben's working at Circuit City and then all of a sudden when you went to Best Buy I found myself saying that again uh-huh. and it was like Circuit City's been closed for, for like long, 15 years long time. at least Yeah, let's be honest here <laughs> <laughs> I like so, tech and gear stuff yeah. it's fun and yeah. natural fit here because mm-hmm. you get to be a gearhead but yep. um, that even with everything put together, we did not leave, you know, like, ooh, I don't know where we're... G-. Well, we didn't have an exact place to stay when we got here. No. We had an RV and we had a hotel room. Right. That was a it. A gifted hotel room. Yeah. And so that gave us a couple of days to do some apartment looking and mm-hmm. we found a place... In three days. Yeah. We're in the place in three days. Yeah. Just crazy. Not a matter of... We went looking for three days. It was actually the first place we looked at. No, it was providential. Yeah, yeah it worked it, yeah. <laughs> crazy fast and yeah. crazy easy. 
and he even allowed us to like move our stuff in before they were finished because they were redoing the floors and stuff and yeah yeah they gave us some so we actually the storage space we moved what little we had into we didn't even have to pay for that yeah <laughs> because the first month was free yeah and so we, we stored our out. stuff for like two days and got it out yeah that it was, was nice. pretty easy yeah uh pretty simple and that went fairly smoothly it mm-hmm. wasn't easy though we were going from no. 2600 square feet in louisville to 800 square feet right not Four a big bedrooms place. finished basement backyard yeah blah 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 two car detached a garage yeah. yeah standard southern home and then all of a sudden we have two bedrooms we did have two bathrooms so that yes. was wonderful five people two toilets it's essential for life yeah and the, yeah. But the kids were sharing that bedroom <laughs> and that was an adjustment yeah it was I, we were on top of each other. I lost my studio in that process, mm-hmm. too. And suddenly my studio is a table in the living room. In the corner in the living room. Yeah. And it actually laid out pretty well, mm-hmm. all things considered. But there were so many times that I would sit there and I would miss something. Right. And it was hard because sure. my pencils <laughs> still smelled like my studio. Mm. And when I pulled my color pencils out. That's something you would know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I suddenly smell my pencil. Mm-hmm. And the smell was mint and eucalyptus, by the way. Right. And they had absorbed that smell. And it was like, oh. And it I would have that. smells such a that, great yeah. memory bring a rubber. And that made it hard. Mm-hmm. That hard turn and yeah. coming in here and having to make those adjustments. And But we grew through it. Mm-hmm. And so that was our first, like, big hard turn in life. Right. And we knew we were ready for that Mm -hmm. you know your job had ended in louisville we were at a point where we said we can actually take this chance let's go Mm -hmm. it was very calculated it wasn't like "Ooh, we think we can make it you know we're gonna go to hollywood and try to get an acting career no it wasn't like that no um but (laughs) it still was a risk i do have that screenplay in my back pocket though (laughs) of course you do because we're in southern california now (laughs) it's your side 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 hustle the steampunk version of uh, Time Bandits, and I'm really oh, hoping gross. to. <laughs> Time Bandits stinks. Time Bandits is a horrible movie. For the record, on film, I love Time Bandits. Well, that doesn't speak anything to your taste. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> we digress. Often. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but even with all of that, it wasn't easy. No. It was a lot of adjustment, and right. it was a long time before San Diego felt normal. Right. And I will say for me in that transition, a lot of the confirmation that we received um, at CPAC mm-hmm. and everything else was absolutely essential for having the confidence to make the move. Yeah. Uh, people who were encouraging, who mm-hmm. spoke into us, who confirmed the gifts and skills and talents and passions that we have and said, yes, you, you can mm-hmm. uh, and you should. So that was that was essential for me yeah yeah um it was a time in that time where i was figuring out Mm -hmm. what my skills were because suddenly i'm really entering the job world Mm -hmm. and you know i'd had the youtube channel which isn't a full-time job but being a homeschooling mom was yeah for three kids yeah yeah but that had ended i wasn't homeschooling when we came out here no 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 but that's what you had been doing yeah and so transitioning with that and being like, well, what are my skills? Mm -hmm. What are my, suddenly I'm looking at this and going, how do I translate this? And at the time feeling like the only job I could probably get was a cashier at McDonald's. Right. You know, because it was hard to say, well, what are my actual skills? Mm -hmm. And then actually have a company be willing to look twice at my resume. You were looking for a deeper job than Best Buy and having trouble. And honestly, that was a lot of that was because we were across country. Yeah, that that had a lot to do with it because they don't want to, you know, we don't need to move all the way out here. A lot of them were even saying locals only mm-hmm. on them because they know people just want to move to San Diego. Yeah, but even after you got here, <laughs> right, it was hard. Yeah, you were still looking. Yeah, and I looked at how you were having trouble, and mm-hmm. I thought, well, gee, how could I even find anything? Right, and it was ju- it was discouraging yeah. to me at that time, but. Uh, little did I know what was being built yeah. at that time. It's you, <laughs> you know, because our next hard turn suddenly came when your job that you were going to do here originally was no more. Right. And wasn't a good fit. Yeah. What, That's and it. Yeah. We, you know, it was a mutual decision to say goodbye mm-hmm. and to say that it wasn't going to work. Right. And 
that was suddenly when this business took off. Right. Because it you, went... You already had it rolling around in your head. I did. And yeah. I like legal was done. I was looking at yeah. real estate. I was making mm-hmm. the steps, trying to figure out who's going to be my other person because I knew from the beginning that I couldn't do it by myself. Right. I knew that. Yeah. I wasn't going to try to be a solopreneur doing mm-hmm. this. And I had planned it from the get-go to have a second person. Mm-hmm. And suddenly you're on board with me. Yeah. And so you're making the hard turn now. Yeah. You know, I've, I had made Double the turn. hard turns. Yeah. <laughs> I had made the transition mm-hmm. already, th- but mine was a much slower yeah. gradual yeah. as we were here to mm-hmm. this coming. Because you were in the process of rediscovering yourself. Yeah. Which but, is, that's a cool thing to get to do. And, yeah. And so my journey was more lots of little steps, mm-hmm. not so much a hard turn to getting to Beta House right. after that move. Right. Yours was a hard turn, mm-hmm. but a natural one. Right, because I'm still using my skills and talents. Yeah, it's not like you yeah. went from saying I'm a dentist, okay, uh-huh. to suddenly saying I want to sell cars. Right. You know, I am sure somebody can make the case for how those skill sets overlap. Mm-hmm. And for I that really person, know detail, detailing work, getting yeah. things clean. <laughs> <laughs> for the person who can, great. But that would be a non-logical right. so much step. Your step into your position here, mm-hmm. even though it was a total industry shift, right. was still in line with your skill sets that mm-hmm. you had developed. You know, your position here is going to be eventually the people managing side of things with general manager. And you get to geek out on gear. Mm-hmm. You get you've known how to run sound because of live events. Right. For for decades. And yeah. you know how to speak to groups. That's right. <laughs> And you uh, already had a social media presence, that mm-hmm. kind of thing beforehand. And that made things a little different for you coming into this space. Right. As well as you were the one originally to push me into YouTube. <laughs> he was the one who put a camera on me, mm-hmm. made me start doing it. It's because I love you. <laughs> so even your hard turn into this was not uncalculated. No. It was fast. Right. But it wasn't uncalculated. No. Or willy nilly. <laughs> Right. It wasn't lightly done. Mm-hmm. It was gladly done. Yeah. And yeah, I, I still get to be me. I'm not having to twist and distort myself to be here. Mm-mm. You know, it's and our partnership makes sense because we know each other really well. <laughs> yeah. We can play around at times, but yeah. at the same time, we know our like our roles. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like stay in your lane. Yeah. And yep. stuff, and then it works actually really well. And we know we can't work on the same computer at the same time. Oh, no. That, oh. We do okay. We're getting better. After 20 years, we're getting better. We are getting better. <laughs> but typically, it works out better if one of us does a project, shows the other one the project mm-hmm. once it's kind of put together. Kind of put it the review. Yeah. Rather and, than work step by step through the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. There are, is the occasional where it's I'm dictating to you for things. Because I have no opinion. Yeah. There are things I legitimately have no opinion on. You're like, I want it this way. Great. Let's make it happen. Or, or that I'm telling you what to put into something. Mm-hmm. Like I'm ba- literally dictating yeah. down something to do and it's faster for him to click the buttons yeah. so I can think in my head mm-hmm. and not translate. But <laughs> We digress. Yeah, we digress. Often. But no, I mean, that's how we work together <laughs> right. in coming in all of this and making those hard turns. And, you know, some people are impulsive mm-hmm. and can make those you know, in the middle of the night changes and are moving the next day on it. That's not me. No. And you have to be (laughs) a super special kind of person for that to work out long term. Right. Otherwise, you're going to start a thousand things and never finish any. Mm -hmm. And that's where you never get to see success. Mm -hmm. And you find those things. mm -hmm. For me, it's a matter of finding the things I know that I'm good at, lay out a path and a plan and work the plan. Okay. So if you're thinking about a hard turn, Mm -hmm. What do you think makes bad decisions for hard turns, like bad reasons? If it was me making the hard turn, impulsivity is bad. Okay. Um, I would say not seeking counsel from other people who know me well Mm -hmm. is bad. Um, Because a lot of times we are blind to our own uh, faults and foibles and hangups and that sort of thing. And having a good friend who can pour into you a little bit and say, Mm -hmm. yeah, I hear you want to do that that's not you or I've seen you do this stuff before and things maybe you'd blocked out because it was mm-hmm. convenient to block out they can go no here it is uh, so that that counsel from friends is good um, so good know. advice good advice solid advice yeah. not just from anybody but 
Do, so Facebook poll, not your choice not for good advice? Uh, a friend who cares enough about you to tell you the real truth, mm-hmm. that's where you want to go. Yeah. Okay, so not yeah. a Facebook poll. Got and, it. And uh, a complete lack of research <laughs> <laughs> would be a very bad thing. Well, it's like Jeremiah this morning was excited because he got offered something. And when mm-hmm. I did a little bit of research, yeah. as I as I do, I found out that the thing wasn't what he thought it was. Yeah, it was and a, so we were able to put the brakes on before anything happened. Yeah, that was good. which was great. That was great. Was he disappointed? Sure. Yeah, and it was yeah. legitimate disappointment. It was legitimate disappointment, but at the same time... It saved him. It saved him, and that's what I do. Mm-hmm. I don't take rash steps. I'm, I'm the guy, If I so if I go shopping, I'm not going to buy the shirt the first time in the store. You know, I don't make a hard turn about buying clothes, let alone my life, you know. I'll mm-hmm. take a shirt, I'll pick it up, I'll, I'll mess around with it, and I'll put it back, and the third time I come in the store, then I'll buy the shirt. Uh, and so I'm not going to make rash and impulsive decisions. What about you? So... Some of the things that I think are a bad reason is, you know, thinking about in a work environment, a workplace environment, if you're not feeling challenged Mm -hmm. or maybe you're not feeling satisfied with your job, making that call before you seek other avenues within that job. Okay. Like maybe it's worth it to go sit down with your boss Mm -hmm. and say, okay, Right now, I'm not feeling challenged or I'm not Nobody feeling this is that. the best thing for my skill set. Sure. Is there, are there other options? Mm-hmm. You know, l- explore that first. Right. Don't throw away where you are. Don't throw away your experience. Don't mm-hmm. throw away, you know, all of those things add up. You know, more vacation days, better pay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to just walk away from that um, because of a couple bad weeks. But um, know that maybe it's worth exploring within where you are first. And then it may just be a lane change. Yeah, a versus a hard, hard turn. turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, a couple of bad days does not equal a reason no, to give gosh, up. No, gosh, no. Everybody has bad days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's one of my big ones. Like, don't give up just because it's gotten hard. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and starting your own business, kind of stepping out on your own, making a hard turn, even making a lane change, you're going to have difficulty. Yeah. It's going to come. And you just got to push through. You got to have some resilience. You know, you reach these points, you know, and we have here Mm -hmm. where it's difficult making hard choices and Mm -hmm. looking at budgets. And, you know, in that startup phase, Mm -hmm. I wish to say that the day you said we're open, that you were suddenly flooded with clients and like everybody beating down the door. I would love that. Right. And... I don't, and I guess it's the optimist in people uh-huh. that that's what you imagine. It's a Marion Berry pancake line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just imagine this beautiful experience, your idea of what things are going to be. And I can say that here. I totally mm-hmm. expected people to be like, you're open. Where have you been all my life? Right. You know, basically. And yeah. while we do get that response sometimes, mm-hmm. We're just now starting to get the word out that we're here right. after several months. And that was on purpose. Right. But it hasn't been easy. No. And the other days I'm looking at numbers going, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's trust. They say you have this in reserves for a reason, <laughs> you know, because yeah. it takes time. Mm-hmm. And anything built well takes time. Yeah. You know, let's look at Notre Dame. Okay. So as of the date of recording, uh, this is... The week of. Yeah, it's still very fresh. It's still very fresh when Notre Dame burned, yeah. Did that, was that built in one day? No. Was it even built in one generation? Mm-mm. No. It was 200 something years. Yeah. yeah, and so people ended that mm-hmm. not seeing the finished product. Right. Spent their full lifetimes mm-hmm. in work. Working and working. And... and so that's, you know, I kind of think about good things are built slowly mm-hmm. and they're built well. Right. Typically, if you're running, you're going to miss something, or if you trip, you're going to fall hard. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's that's why we have been very intentional, and we have done a lot of background work and mm-hmm. getting things to where they are now. And there's still some more to do. Oh yeah, two years that yeah. I had this I, from the idea yeah. to doors open. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm talking with Russ, who's been on the show and will mm-hmm. be on the show again. Yep. Um, you know, there there are components of just our web presence that we're still putting together to make sure that we're fleshed out right. Well, and we didn't want to rush on it because, yeah, we could make decisions about who we are, mm-hmm. but that might not be right. Yeah. Because you don't know necessarily who you are as a business until you're in that. Right. And space. your ideal client that you originally had, that even has taken a hard turn. Yeah. 
uh, for what you you were expecting for Beta House. Yeah, from the original idea, yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought that this would just be a space for YouTube creation, and we saw how much more it could be right. as we talked with people. Mm-hmm. And it became a much cooler idea with their input. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't even hard turns in our business, in the business plan. It no. was like next step kind of things. It right. was beautiful growth with that. Um, and as that grew, and that also, you know, excitement grew with yeah. that too, having that larger. There's more possibility. Group. That's yeah. always a fun thing. And yeah. uh, so that's been really great with all of this. Mm-hmm. Still, I don't know if there may be another hard turn. You know, mm-hmm. we're looking at future locations right now. Yeah. Tomorrow. And yeah, tomorrow going to <laughs> actually physically look at th- some of the future location possibilities. And it's a little overwhelming mm-hmm. thinking about that and still looking at budget because I am a numbers person. Yeah. And, you know, again, my beautiful idea of business startup, mm-hmm. you know, because I thought, yes, we'll be the exception, you know, because yeah. everybody thinks that. Be honest, yeah. you do. Yeah. You know, even it won't go that way for me. The most level headed person. Yeah. Even if they say it, I think they're still thinking it. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you say one thing you're and then you really have this hope. Hoping yeah, what you're kinda like, this is what's gonna this happen. This is what you need to expect. And yeah. you know, I was like, Oh, we'll open the doors, we'll do our little test for a month mm-hmm. and then we'll be completely solvent. Mm. <laughs> Didn't happen. No. I no, did not happen. No. We're just now <laughs> figuring out what we want to do for marketing for this yeah. thing. It takes time. <laughs> but again, mm-hmm. my super optimistic look mm-hmm. on that, I'm gonna be the exception because mm-hmm. I'm incredible. You know, kind of UN interpreter. I was never yeah, I was <laughs> gonna be a UN interpreter at one point. <laughs> uh that was way back in middle school. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that was not like my job path through it was college. A deep cut, folks. Yeah, yeah, deep, yeah. deep, deep cut. Yeah. Um, I also learned through high school that I wasn't as good at languages as I thought I was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the interpreter gig did not work well, mm-hmm. especially considering that the two languages I knew, English and French, they didn't mm-hmm. really need Im- no. translators to go back and forth no, through those. Cause, yeah. Because <laughs> they're both accepted languages there. Yep. So, yeah, my yep. job plan was not well thought out in eighth grade. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah. Eighth grade. Not there yet. Did not yeah. know what I was going to do with my life. Um where was I? Okay, locations. Mm-hmm. Ooh, location, location, location. An upcoming that's, chapter. That's an upcoming chapter. Yeah, yeah. there. I'm gonna, we don't want to step on those toes I yet. I teased it just a little bit. A little bit. So you know that that one's coming. But mm-hmm. figuring out these things right now mm-hmm. and wanting it to be natural progressions. You know, so it is that next step versus hard turns where I'm not changing. So I like where the business is right now. I mm-hmm. like what we have decided for structure. What is mm-hmm. the whole flow yeah i'm i like it and as a gearhead do i want more stuff oh yeah i do (laughs) of course i do i've got a list in my head (laughs) oh yeah in the next space i'm excited mm -hmm. because it's going to be more video based oh yeah that one is designed this one this studio right here has had to pull dual duty yeah which is a lot for one space Mm -hmm. it is amazing what this one little room is doing right um, the variety of content we've already made in here, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. But the the next space is gonna be much longer throw. We're gonna have a lot more room that way. Mm-hmm. And, and that's the one that's secured. Like we yeah. know for sure we're moving. It's to. ours. Yeah. And they started construction on it on Monday. Yep. And it's cool. It's the next face though is like unknown. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna go look tomorrow and see yep. see what works. So it's yeah. exciting. Into it's the wild stuff. blue yonder. Yep. <laughs> So, and we're getting to do this all in sunny San Diego. That's right. You know. That's right. So we are very blessed. Yeah. Hashtag blessed. So. Right. <laughs> so I think we've thoroughly discussed this and kind of digressed yeah. into something else. But hard turns are hard. Right. Let's. By definition, they just yeah. are. And. You have to have the bullheadedness to push on through it. Yep. And to make those changes. Mm-hmm. And so I hope that in the next couple of episodes as they come out, you can get to be very encouraged mm-hmm. through getting to hear other people's yeah. stories that they have gone through these hard turns. Yeah, from Sean and Lisa. Yeah, and yeah. Lauren. And Lauren. About yeah. all of their hard turns mm-hmm. and how they made the choice to do it, how they got the courage to actually go through, mm-hmm. and then where they ended up. Yeah. So, so we got three stories coming for you folks, mm-hmm. and they're, they're all going to be good. They're yeah, super and they're solid. all different. Yeah. So yeah, It's not the same story three times. It's, yeah. They're very different, <laughs> and it's good. So it's kind of something for everybody there. So, so I hope that you have enjoyed our video mm-hmm. today. Um, 
If you have, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Smash that bell down in the corner so you get future notifications here on YouTube when the next episode comes out. Yeah, we're going to be putting out content every week, so you could be looking for that until the season ends. Whenever that is. Yeah. (laughs) Whenever we decide to say, okay, we're ending the season and starting a new one. Yep. But uh, that is it for today. We'll have all of our links down in the description below for social media so you can follow us there Mm -hmm. and get to know what we're up to a little bit more on a daily basis, as well as... If you're really curious, I do have a daily vlog going now. I was going to say, you have a daily vlog. Yep, which yep. we still have yet to record today, so and, I've got to get that done real and quick. We, oh, yeah, because we got to go. And uh, we'll put a link for that in there, too. Yep. So we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.